Hi, I'm Janet Riley with the National Hot Dog and Sausage Council, and I'm broadcasting today from Prince George's Stadium, home of the incomparable Bowie Bay Sox. For more than 100 years, the third most sung song in America, Take Me Out to the Ball Game, has honored peanuts and Cracker Jack, but ignored America's favorite ballpark food, the hot dog. And that's left a good friend of mine, Frank, very sad. Let's see if we can catch up with him. Frank, it's great to catch up with you here today. And I know it's tough for you to talk about, but I hope you can muster the courage to share your feelings about what it's been like to be left out of Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Painful, almost gut-wrenching. I see vendors hawking hot Franks all the time. It's the most popular food at the ballpark. But when it comes time for the seventh inning stretch, it's like I'm invisible. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. If I step on one more shell or find one more little toy surprise, I don't know what I'm going to do. That's terrible. How has this impacted you personally? Oh, it's caused me terrible anxiety reaction. My casings are tight. My buns are flaky. And my relish won't even stay on. It's terrible. Frank, I've got great news for you today. America has come to your rescue. The National Hot Dog and Sausage Council has just completed a song contest, and America has rewritten Take Me Out to the Ball Game, and it now mentions you. Frank, today you get the recognition you deserve. Really? Would I lie to a wiener? Thank you, America! Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. A big juicy hot dog and condiment packs. For its root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three, strike your out at the old ball <laughs> game. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to probably about 7.30. Jeremy, what are you doing? 
going? Nothing, nothing, Daddy. You ready to go? Yeah, let's go get some hot dogs. I go for the hot dogs too. Like father, like son. I will never, ever forget this.